Secondo di Prada, 15 secondi di Prada. In tattoos, running up, taking all the views. Stepping on place, feeling the fear. I know you're feeling it in the air. Whole squad wearing all black. Motivation goes the real bad. Take a peek inside the darkness. Blow up the spot, then we run it. Ready or not, here we come. Hello and welcome to La Tuile Italy Valle d'Aosta for the fourth round of the Internazionale Italia series. We are in such a beautiful valley. This place is actually well known, especially outside of Italy, for Enduro because we had back in the days Super Enduro and then Enduro World Series, the most important uh, races for Enduro biking in the whole world. But cross country is growing and after a few years of uh, smaller races we're coming to the Internazionale Italia we are at the latest round of the series so everyone will give their best to come back with the leadership jersey what a place what a place we're close to Mont Blanc it's pretty and uh, natural but at the same time we're gonna see soon the parkour the track which is unbelievably technical with some uh, obstacles artificial obstacles so here we see the pump track so what a race we're gonna see very soon let's uh, check uh, first the track and then junior ladies and ladies. hi i'm adam hasley welcome to latwil come with me to see the brutal course we have here We've arrived now at the pump track. It's a new addition to the course. I think it's going to be a really tough part of the course just physically to obviously maintain speed and no recovery. This then leads you into the main climb of the race. So this is going to be a crucial part to try balance recovery and speed. Up next is the switchback climb. You've just come up a really steep uh, ski slope climb, so it's your really uh, heart rate's high and the, the legs are burning, and then you have this, this section now behind me. Um, I think it's a key piece to see where you are in the race, to see the gaps in front of or behind you, and can judge your, your pace for the rest of the lap off of that. We've now gone up the switchbacks, come across a little transition. Now we're at the, the steepest descent of the course. It's got um, a really steep log section. It's, it's really hard to, to get the balance. I mean, you end up on the back of the bike down there. Um, really key piece to obviously keep the speed, the balance, uh, and that leads you through to the, the transition for the last half of the course. This is the wood section now. It's a really tough part of the course. It, it's quite deceiving. It, it goes up and down quite a lot. And when it goes up, it's more than 20% gradient. So it's really tough. And carrying speed in this section is going to be key for, for maintaining a, a good race. So I would say, yeah, this is a, a really important part of the course. Okay, so we finished now the, the tough and technical wood section. We've arrived at the rock garden, the longest and craziest rock garden I've probably ever seen. Um, it's the, the final key section and it delivers you to the, the finish line. So obviously key, key points are just maintaining speed um, on the bike and, and not uh, going too fast. It's quite easy to make a mistake here and you can end your race right here. Um, and obviously it's the decisive point for if you have to sprint for the line in the end. And that's the lap here of the course in the twill. Enjoy the action over the weekend. Junior men. So we start with uh, the kids, which uh, 
are pretty strong in this field. We we have uh, Germany, Italy, we have France, Switzerland, a lot of uh, names from all over Europe really and all over the world because we've seen also a Brazilian national champion jersey. And uh, what a race for the first uh, guys dropping in. We see uh, number one of uh, Paul Manier here making a big mistake in front of uh, Marco Betteo, the leader of the Internazionale Italia Series. But what a strong performance by the German uh, Emil Herzog from uh, Steven's team here. We see again the national champion jersey of uh, Brazil. But uh, in position two and three, we saw Manier in uh, Betteo which uh, they fight big time. Luckily, the sun was shining because we had big, big rain over the weekend, but the track was absolutely taking out so many riders that they struggled big time. But what a performance by the Germans from the Stevens team. Uh, Emil Herzog really could put his effort and drop everyone else like in second and third position. But all in all, the leader jersey uh, ended to Marco Betteo in front of Cortesi and Paul Manier. Elite women now, La Tuile, final race of the International Italia Series. We see finally some uh, faces smiling like Martina Berta back in the action after her injury. And uh, what a start list. Avi Reacher, the world champion from track factory racing, Eva Lechner, Hayley Batten, and then Greta Seyval, Giada Specia, the leader of the International Italia Series, then Giorgia Marquet, and there we go with the, with the start. So Martina Berta already leading, I mean, we know Martina uh, knows the place really well. She's uh, from uh, Valle d'Aosta, not fra, from uh, La Tuile, from the race. What a drop, that's a big drop for the girls and for the boys as well. I mean, look at what they do on cross-country racing nowadays. And look at the speed of Hayley Batten. Uh, were we going back and forth from uh, position one, two, three, four, and five? Here we are at lap one. Hayley Batten, what a start of the race in front of Avi Reacher, which is, we all know, is really strong and is coming back to, to the big shape for the big races. We're going to have world champs in Leger this year, so. She's gonna have to give the best to be back in shape and make it happen again to get that jersey with the rainbow stripes. Here, Haley Barron and Martina Berta. What a performance of uh, Martina that is uh, finally back uh, with us, back racing bicycles like we know. She's a super, super strong champion. Look at her technical skills. I know how strong she is and she can really drop everyone else down the hill now we go lap uh, two of six the race will be hot and long and it's a trio up in the front because Giada Specia from uh, Wheeler Pirelli just joined uh, the club of the leaders on uh, the beginning of lap three now is dropping a little drop in back um, Martina looking strong looking fit and strong but Giada Specia we all know she had an amazing and incredible season so far she's having the leader jersey. We come to lap three and uh, Martina has a little bit of an advantage on uh, Giada Specia and Heli Batten from uh, Specialized uh, 3 t Racing. We know Chiara Teocchi is a team member of, uh, of uh, Specialized 3 t but a little bit back uh, in the pack in this uh, moment and in this race, we hope to see Chiara back stronger. The technical aspect of this track is unbelievable. I'm glad the sun is shining. I'm glad the rider are riding and racing in the, in the sun and in the dry because what a track would have been in the wet. Uh, big cheers to Enrico Martello and all the crew for, for the track, for the organization. It is unbelievable, this track, I, I have to say. We saw as well Emily Betty from um, the Canyon uh, team, Emily having uh, a little bit of a different approach into cycling and racing in the latest uh, years of her career but always we're always happy to see such a such a champion such a such a big person for for the sport and uh, i think i've seen georgia marquez as well in the in the group she's uh, riding strong like all all year long but again number one in the in the back of uh, Giada Specia, she just need to bring it home, really, and uh, she's gonna win the overall of the series. 
of the series, which is really, really important for, for her and for the team Wheeler Pirelli. Here to factory racing, factory team. I'm sorry, before I, I said uh, Haley Batten racing for specialized uh, Trinity, but uh, in real in real life she's now specialized factory she was on uh, specialized trinity last year but now she's a factory rider so sorry for that little mistake keep going such a steep section here i actually love the track and what a performance by martina berta she killed and smashed everyone else and winning this race at home she must be really happy we're so stoked to see her and Jada Specia finishing in second, not far, a couple of uh, 10 seconds, like about 30 seconds. Big hug with um, teammate of uh, Martina. Look at the podium, Jada Specia in second, and then uh, from track factory racing the world champion in third position. So, what well, a podium here, Massimo Girotto, Avery Richard in third, and Hayley Batten from USA, and Georgia Marquette again in fifth, Gira Seval in sixth, and Emily Batty. Uh, let's hear something from Martina. Ah, dai, sono stati due mesi difficili, eh, lo ammetto, sono stati, sono stati impegnativi. E oggi, oggi volevo tornare ai cross country a vedere come avrebbe reagito il mio fisico. E dai, sono contenta e oggi. E più ha un significato particolare questa vittoria e sono, sono veramente contenta, posso guardare penso il resto della stagione a testa alta e ai prossimi, guardando i prossimi obiettivi. Sì, sì, sono, sono molto contenta. Oggi, oggi stavo bene, è stata una gara molto molto dura anche considerando le avversarie che c'erano e comunque alla fine, alla fine stavo bene, ho lavorato molto bene in altura lo scorso mese quindi sono in forma e insomma ho raggiunto il mio obiettivo sia tenere la maglia degli internazionali e ho ottenuto anche un buon risultato in questa gara qui. And now elite man we're on uh, the big uh, moment that everyone uh, was waiting for uh, big names at the start like the Canada factory racing uh, from South Africa, Alan Hatherley, really strong in the World Cups uh, over the last uh, weeks and months. But uh, watch out for Luca Bright, uh, the man from uh, Friuli Venezia, Giulia, from Santa Cruz FSA team. Really strong uh, now in this part of the season. We're happy to see Luca uh, riding really, really fast. So um, Glad to see the boy uh, pushing, pushing from uh, from lap one. Look at how fast they are running, they're riding over the last uh, uh, part of the track, the technical section we saw. Also, Yuri Zanotti come back from from injury as well. So happy to see Yuri from BMC Racing Team. Here is um, Nadir Koledani racing for Massi Team. So Hatterley here with uh, Braidot and Zanotti. What a strong performance by Yuri Zanotti, one of the best uh, Italian rider we have at the moment. But Braidot really feeling the vibe, feeling strong. Look at how easy pushing number two on his Santa Cruz FSA. Strong technically as well in front of number one of Alan Hatterley from uh, Canada Factory Racing and Zanotti. Strong in third, but kind of uh, feeling the speed for, for Braidot, which is um, really uh, he's challenging everyone else because he's pushing up the climb, he's pushing down the hill and uh, just feeling strong. Atterli in uh, second with, uh, with Zanotti at the moment. Atterli had an amazing season uh, so far, but you know, a lot of races, a lot of different places to travel to, so not easy to always keep the speed. Braidot, Hatterley and Zanotti in a super technical uh, race coming up. Strong in fourth, I saw the national champion jersey of, uh, of Nadir Komledani, MMR racing team. We know he, he likes the climb, he likes his uh, tracks, but he's maybe super technical uh, down the hill. He didn't, he wasn't really sure on, on tires, we saw from the interview at the at the beginning of the show but uh, now with dry and dusty condition she, he's, he's really pushing strong and, and fast so lap 4 
on seven because the boys always ride one more lap compared to girls and Zanotti and uh, and Colledani in uh, in podium position at the moment. Utterly dropping down. We saw we see now uh, Luca Braida using his uh, dropper seat post. We all know now everyone is riding full suspension bike with the dropper seat post. The cross country mile bikes uh, at the moment they're really looking sexy and fast down and up the hill and Coledani is uh, charging big time with uh, Zanotti nice to see this slow one Filippo Fontana we didn't speak much about him but uh, the young guy from uh, the Carabinieri team is running really strong and holding the leader jersey of the under 23 category but it's uh, the leader of the elite that really is taking the race on his hands and not much they can do the competitors to challenge him and if we keep running like this we're gonna see him winning the race and the overall in front of his uh, competitor at the moment uh, Colledani is looking fit, is looking strong, he had a good beginning of the season and some up and down for the, for the guy as well from Friuli Venezia Giulia Prado Colledani and Zanotti, probably the best uh, Italian riders we have so far, even though we saw Gioele Bertolini really strong in some of the World Cups, being uh, probably the Italian fastest in some, some days. Here is uh, the twin of uh, Braido, which is uh, Daniele. But look at really looking strong and as we can see winning again another victory for him in front of Nadir Kordani popping up a willing for the for the fans and Zanotti in third must be must be happy as well while finish here Celestino picking up uh, names and riders for world champs but let's see what the finish line look like is uh, Braidot, Colledani, Zanotti, Ben Olivier from New Zealand and then Anton Sitzov and Daniele Braidot uh, Janis Spalman. So what a race here we see and we hear something from Luca. Ho lavorato tantissimo in altura queste ultime due settimane, quindi non spero bene come poteva essere la gamba. In realtà ho fatto i primi due giri a ruota, dopo ho visto che, che ne avevo e ci ho provato e sono riuscito ad andare via subito. Anche l'anno scorso è stato un anno difficile per me, forse il peggiore della mia carriera. Ho avuto una grandissima delusione alle Olimpiadi e da lì ho cambiato tutto nell'alimentazione, nella preparazione tutto e tutto, i risultati li stanno vedendo e sono felice come sta andando, adesso arriva un bel blocco di Coppa del Mondo e diciamo che la stagione, la stagione è vera e da qua in poi. Well, 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 what a year has been for Internazionale Italia Series, I feel is the best so far we ever have. Uh, some of the champions, uh, junior and elite women and elite men, we have after a full season of racing. Giada Specia in the women category in front of Eva Lechner and then Giorgia Marquet, then Martina Berta and Greta Seivel, the two riders from Santa Cruz FSA, which are winning in the elite men with Luca Braidot in front of Nadir Coledani just for 10 points and then Filippo Fontana, Vondetto and Bertolini we see all the jersey, I'm happy to see uh, the youngsters really doing well and strong like uh, Filippo Fontana and Simone Vondetto I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear something really strong from them uh, from then on so big cheers to everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you in 2023 for another sick season of cross country races from the international italia series everything is set e tutto ragazzi see you next year bye bye